Chris the Midwest Bass Hunter here and I got me a crazy new bait I'm super excited about a topwater bait from Japan the mega bass I gotta read the package because I don't remember the name of the bait the mega bass I loud prop darter This is one of the best looking baits I've ever seen, <laughs> as far as paint goes. This thing looks like a Ranger bass boat. You know, I was gonna go off in the shade to do this video, so I didn't have so much sun on me, but I thought, no, I gotta be out here where the sun is so that we can see this thing. So it's got the guy's name on it that made it. Uh, Yoki Ito. Okay, this is a Japanese bait, Mega Bass. Um, they make uh, a lot of cool bass baits from Japan. Uh, this is a topwater wake bait. Um, it's jointed and it also has a little propeller back here for a little bubble trail. So let's read what the package says. Um, oh wait, I can't read any of it. It's all in Japanese. Uh, let's see, let's see. Is there anything? Okay, so it's got a radar action balancer. So inside of it, it has, let's see if we can hear it. It has that. It's a rattle. And what it is, it's actually like, I don't know if you'll be able to see this, it's actually like two knockers on a pivot. And so when it wakes back and forth, those knockers are going to hit each side and give it that noise. Okay. And it also uh, balances it. That's what that says there. Um, then it's got a jointed body and a swish prop. Splash and bubble, it says. So then you got that noise from your this thing has good hooks on it. Got that noise from the knocker. You got the noise from the joint, knocking back and forth. And then you've got that little propeller which has a little bit of noise too. Obviously that propeller is gonna leave a little bubble trail and splash a little bit, like a like any other prop bait. Um, and then it's got the wake, you know, the, the straight down bill, crankbait bill, and that's typical of wake baits. So it's just going to make a big old wake on the top of the water and uh, just kind of swim back and forth. Look like maybe an injured fish. Typically, um, you're not going to have bait fish up at the surface, you know. Sometimes they might be up at the surface, but usually if they are, they're, they're injured, right? So that's an easy meal for a bass. That's the opportunity the big bass is looking for, right? Easy meal. Um, this is a bluegill pattern, and um, I don't know, i never seen any bluegills that were quite that spectacular looking but um, but hey whatever the other thing is all this glint and glitter this is on the top side so when it's in the water the fish won't even see that <laughs> but, but I tell you what it sure caught me this is a one ounce bait so it's real heavy um, but for a top water bait one ounce no big deal I mean you can throw it and uh, reel it in no problem it's hundred and three millimeters long so I don't know what that is in, in inches but like five or Five and a half inches or so this bait this bait is cost me thirty dollars 29.99 and um, that is the most money i've ever spent the most money i've ever spent on a bass lure um, i have some musky baits that i paid 30 bucks for but this is definitely the most expensive bass lure i've ever owned um, so yeah, uh, I've been a little hesitant to get it out of, out of the box, but I need to throw this thing. It's it's so sweet looking. So I don't know that the conditions are perfect for it right now, but I'm going to put it in the water and I'm going to pull it around and I'm going to put a camera in the water and kind of see what it looks like from the fish's point of view uh, from underneath kind of looking up.
So when I'm fishing topwaters, I kind of have an all-around topwater rod. This is a loose TP1 speed stick. It's a medium heavy with a fast action, seven foot long. And then I use a seven five to one loose tournament MB and I use braided line. So almost every topwater bait I'm fishing, I'm using braided line. And this one's gonna be no different. It's on top of the water. Doesn't really matter, the line doesn't matter. And you're gonna wanna have that braided line in order to, uh, to get a good hook set on these fish. Cause you are gonna be able to launch this bait a mile. It's one ounce. In fact, if this, <laughs> I mean, this rod is good from, uh, it says a quarter to seven eighths ounce. I will throw one ounce baits on this rod, but if it's too heavy, um, I might actually switch it up to my uh, my jig rod, which will handle up to ounce and a half bait. Um, it's a heavy action, so you're going to be able to whip this thing a, a mile. So you're going to want to have braided lines so you can you know get a good hook set when you're way out there. You don't want to have mono or, or fluoro that might have a little bit of stretch in it. So we're going to throw this thing around and see how it tosses and uh, tell you what we think of it. It really has that nice wobbling action in the water. And it doesn't, it doesn't really, you know, it digs a little bit from that bill. So it's not a straight up top, you know, I mean, it is a top water bait, but it kind of buries under the, under the water just a touch. And you can throw it far. And because it's a big bait like that, you can lob it and you can handle it on a rod like this. As long as you don't rip it too hard. But because it's a big bait, you can just kind of lob it. And you don't need to really load your rod up. Yeah, it definitely looks like a struggling bait fish on the top of the water. You can hear that clack from a ways away. I don't know if I would uh, necessarily recommend this bait. I mean, it's expensive, it's $30. Uh, it is very cool. Um, I know it will catch fish. Uh, I haven't caught any yet with it, but I know it will. It's just a sweet looking bait. <laughs> and I will say this is definitely designed to, to catch fishermen. I mean, this is a, this is a neat looking bait uh, to get, get you to say, ooh, I gotta have that. Um, but that doesn't mean it doesn't work. So um, I would say, I don't know. I'm not gonna recommend that anyone buy this bait, but I'm glad I did. And uh, we'll see, hopefully I catch some giants on it. Anyways guys, thank you so much for watching. If you're new to my channel, uh, please make sure you subscribe, hit that little bell down there so you don't miss anything. Head over to Instagram, check me out over there, at Midwest Bass Hunter. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time.